Now here we have our trip to Mexico and after a long haul flight and a drag race in the air we eventually touch down in Cancun. From there we'll be going to Playa del Carmen and Tulum but for this first part we've arrived quite late so we just kind of had some food, looked around and then actually started our first day on the island of Isla Majeres. Now to get here it's just a quick ferry ride, it's only about 30 minutes and I can't remember the price but it's very cheap and you don't have to wait too long. Besides that view you can't really complain. Now when getting to the island I definitely recommend uh, getting a rental to travel around in otherwise your day's not really going to go too far. Now we rented out a golf cart and these things go about 30 to 40 miles per hour and you can kind of just go anywhere you want really, visit all the amazing beaches, locations and uh, you'll definitely take in a lot more doing this. So we decided to go to the southern end of the island and it's only two dollars or so to get through the section and after that you can kind of go around all the um, the edges of the island which is quite nice you get close up to the waves but you do have to be careful as it does get quite slippery. Now the island down this end does have a small restaurant it's not much but you can get something to eat and that is just before you can then set off and continue exploring around the islands and finding all little hidden gems and places to visit. Now coming back to the mainland, a good place to start a night out is Senior Frogs. Here we had magicians, uh, comedians, balloon artists and all sorts coming up to us and the club just kind of kept an ongoing vibe throughout the night. Now next I want to show you guys Exavage by Excret. Now Excret are a company that do these parks and they have maybe three or four that I know of alone on the east coast such as Exensus Explore which I'll show you guys a little bit later on. Now this park is it's so well maintained and so clean but when we went there it was not overcrowded or anything like that. We were able to get all the rides without having to wait too long. I think the longest we waited for one was maybe five minutes or so. Now unfortunately I couldn't film a lot of it so I've had to show most of it in pictures but hopefully that will give you guys kind of a general insight of what to expect and obviously as you can see from the quality the cameras take pictures of you as you go around the park and they do a tremendous job of doing that. And that seems like a nice way to end the day, just kind of watching the sunset go down and sitting in the pool. But uh, next day we jump straight back into it, getting our food in the morning. And that's just before we moved on to go to the shopping mall in Cancun. Now I've never actually seen a shopping mall this vibrant and colourful, but uh, it was really generally quite amazing to me. Um, especially as this one does also have an aquarium built in which can go around and you can even watch the, uh, the dolphins. Admittedly the aquarium doesn't have a lot to it but uh, you can still spend maybe an hour or so in there and that's before you then can get the ferris wheel to then get a top end view above Cancun. <laughs> Now there's plenty of stores to see, uh, you've got the typical ones that you'd see in most other countries such as Nike etc and then you've got the traditional um, ones that I've never actually seen in other countries myself except for Mexico. Next we're moving on to Playa del Carmen, now to get here we use the Aido bus service, great service, you can get first class for really cheap prices and it's a comfortable ride. Coming into Playa del we went out straight away to get an idea of what the strip would look like and uh, as you can see it's a lot less touristy and a lot more authentic which we kind of liked and we appreciated that. Walked around and then after a while like we always do we decided to grab some food from a local restaurant. After our food we then went out explored more of the, um, the local area and that's before we start the next day to go to a cenote. Now the cenote we went to is the Canton Chi just outside of Playa del. Doesn't take too long to get here by a taxi and when you arrive it is so peaceful and laid back.
Now what you're seeing now is like an undiscovered area to most visitors who come here because it's between the main cenote and the entrance and most people seem to drive that length whereas for us we got to see it all go in and explore the caves for a while. That is before we then came back to the main entrance to wait for our ride back into um, our hostel. Here we made a cute little friend, one of whom really took a liking to Ash. Next we have the Cozumel Island just off the coast of Playa del. Now we headed down to the shoreline to get some breakfast whilst waiting for our ferry and once we then boarded we went across after about half hour of sailing. We came to the island and decided to rent out a jeep for the day which only cost about $50 between us. Once getting in we hit the open road and we were told that the island has this kind of one way system which most people tend to follow whilst travelling in a car. We took our jeep along the coastline and then even came to a nice bar. We sat here for about half an hour or so just to take in the view and enjoy the beach whilst having a quick drink. And that's before we then decided to hop straight back in and hit the open road once again. Now moving on to Tulum, we checked into our hostel and the next morning we grabbed our food around 9 o'clock and then decided to um, rent out a couple of scooters. Now these were $55 each so we decided to get two making it 110 and that way we could alternate between the two bikes allowing myself to film as well as drive a lot of the journey. Now in Tulum there is a huge road that is running parallel to the coastline and on there you have restaurants, bars and everything. Now we decided to drive all the way down to the very end where we then had to pay like a five dollar fee just to continue going and we kept going for miles and miles until we eventually hit a nice spot where we could actually find a lot of the locals doing fishing. Now it seems to me that tourists don't really know about this spot themselves probably because it's so far outwards and you have to keep going to get there and the only downside is is that there are so many potholes for it. Once you do however get past all the potholes, driving down this open road is so much fun. Now here we're moving on to another cenote, this one being in Tulum of course. Now personally I actually prefer this one over the one in Playa del Carmen just because it's more colourful and more vibrant. There are more tourists that visit here so it is a bit busier but that doesn't really ruin the experience in any way whatsoever. from the cenote and heading back into Tulum we decided to visit next the Azulik resort so we quickly locked up our bikes and went in and it was somewhat around ten dollars when you go in you can it's not too much time you'd spend here maybe 20 minutes or so but a lot of people like to do Instagram photos here it's this huge quiet building which is based around meditation and just kind of peaceful thoughts which I admit going in there was quite nice to do it definitely ended the uh, afternoon off quite nicely that is before though we then decided to hop back onto our bikes and just kind of take um, a long journey around the outskirts of Tulum itself. Now next, not in any particular order, but we have Exensis and Explore. So we've decided to go for the shopping mall just for the morning to buy some clothes and then we headed off to Exensis. That's the first part we started in. Now again, this isn't in order, but Exensis firstly is to test your senses, just like this hill that you've just seen there. It's actually flat ground but it's designed to look like a hill to kind of test your ability to notice things. 
Here you can do nice baths and go through relaxing tunnels and then hit the water slides. Uh, again, I can't remember if this is Extensus itself or an Explore, but doing the two together is really peaceful. Now this part that you're seeing at the moment, this is a strange one. You have to walk through a very dark tunnel for ages until you eventually come out into this peaceful garden. Now here you can even grab a lemonade. You just walk over, grab one of the small cups and there is a tap which you can go and pick it up from, which is a nice addition. Now coming away from the relaxing side, there are many activities to try and get your adrenaline going, such as the driving experience, zip lining, and uh, cave swimming. There are a few other things that you're going to see, but I'll just put this little mix together just so you can kind of watch the experience. The longest part will be this driving section just because I love this bit so much. So I hope you guys enjoy this next part. Now coming to these caves again, um, you can go in these as many times as you want of course and some of them you can either walk through and partially swim or some you can even sit on a raft. Now when you go into them they are quite long to get through just because of the amount of people that are in them and it is very cold in there. Other than that though it is great fun. So next we have the Mayan Bruins of Tulum. Now to get here we hired bikes which were $6 per day and after finding our way there on Google Maps we headed down out of Tulum and pretty much it's just two long straight roads but it does take a bit of time to even bike there. Now the entry fee for the actual ruins themselves is about 80 pesos that equivalents to less than four dollars and going around is pretty easy. Um, you can get a tour guide but they're not essential but although they will, they will know a lot more information. The Mayan ruins are quite fascinating to see they're over 800 years old but the first inscription that they have found here dates back to something like 500 AD uh, not the exact date, but around that um, century at least. Now the Mayan history doesn't end there, as next we have Chichen Itza. Now this is the huge pyramid in Mexico. It takes about two hours to get here from Playa del and maybe the same time from Cancun and it is one of the wonders of the world. So you can go around, explore this and the history behind it is quite phenomenal. There's the main pyramid itself as well as other archaeological parts around it. So it's definitely worth spending a couple hours here to take that in guys and to explore the mine history. Mm -hmm. 